Um, the sort of remarkable power of rotary from transport vehicles in Haiti to surgical instruments in Kosovo to a pair of sneakers, which is where our project started. Um, about, uh, our, our club has always had a very strong tie with our public school system. We have traditionally given money for scholarships for high school seniors, and uh, about eight or nine years ago, we started doing a dictionary projects for third graders, which is something that our public schools have, have appreciated very much, and we've enjoyed doing it. Um, about eight or nine years ago, we were thinking of something that we might be able to do for middle school kids in a local little town like Natick, Massachusetts. And uh, one of our members heard a story about a young man that was unable to play a particular sport if, in fact, his dad was wearing the family set of sneakers that they shared. And uh, as a result, I can't quite remember if it was uh, cleats for football or a pair of high tops for basketball, but the young man was not able to play if dad needed them. And uh, we became aware of that story, and uh, we decided that we would try to put together a project that would help kids stay connected in their communities and in their families and in their schools, even through simple gestures, like arranging for the kid to get a pair of sneakers. So originally we called it the um, internship program. We thought that we might kind of follow these kids through middle school and maybe on to um, high school, but um, it's evolved a little bit. And in fact, last year we changed the name to the Make a Difference program, which um, the president uh, of our club, uh, Dr. Blumenthal, is here tonight, and we were kind of joking about how nice it was for you guys to put up that banner for us. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, simply enough, what we did was we approached the, the local schools, and we said that we would like to work with you in partnership to figure out if you can identify some kids who are not at the top of the spectrum and not like in the bottom of the spectrum who might qualify for all kinds of awards or services, but maybe those kids in the middle that just need a little help staying connected to their schools and to their community. And our club has budgeted uh, about $5,000 a year that we raise through fundraising. And we meet regularly with the uh, counselors at school and they identify anonymously kids that need a little extra help. And um, it's, it's amazing how a couple hundred dollars can make such a difference. Um, some, in some cases, a family has had to move into an apartment and uh, a middle school kid um, was basically sharing the living room and that's where she was sleeping. And it became known that if she had a little bit of privacy or a little bit of her own time, it would make a huge difference. So we, we made funding available to buy her an iPod so she could listen to music kind of on her own and kind of just be in her own world a little bit. We've, we've, uh, we funded uh, camps for kids that would literally not have anything else to do that summer. We have funded things like guitar lessons or maybe uh, to help pay for um, uh, the ability to play football for a season. Sometimes it's, it's literally some movie tickets and pizza for, for mom or dad to take the kids out and just get a break from everything and just reconnect a little bit from the pressures of life. So it's, it's one of those things where uh, you, you feel that you are hopefully, literally, making a difference so that the kid feels like they belong, they have what they need, they might have the clothes that they need to stay connected and they can continue to stay in school and hopefully get through that rough patch and enjoy better things in the future. We, we've we never applied for a, um, uh, well we have applied for a district grant, we got some funding back for a dictionary project, but this is the first time we're actually applying this season for the funds that we spent last year. Um, and a very interesting thing has happened as we've become more knowledgeable on, on the way that the foundation works is we realized, for example, that our club did not qualify for EREY. We had not given $100 per member per year. And uh, frankly, that's something that you have to do if you, if you want to be seriously considered for funding. If you don't qualify for that, you realistically kind of go to the bottom of the list, and that makes sense because you have to put money in to get it out. So our club has thought very creatively about how we can do that. And we've done a couple of different things, including um, we've streamlined some happy dollars and raffle money into that so that um, there's a funding uh, process that goes in place. And last year, we did it. Every, every member in our club qualified uh, $100. And that feels very good because that's something that we haven't done. So it feels like not only are we getting better at the foundation process, we're also doing a wonderful project and we're contributing fully to the district as we're supposed to. So feel very proud about all that.